So now we're going to look at the cell model for uh, 157. If you follow along in your uh, lab manual, uh, that's the way we're going to do this. So first is the cell membrane. Now the cell membrane is this right here. It completely surrounds the cell. All right? And this is the barrier, the boundary of the cell. And it's going to regulate what goes into and out of the cell. So it has to go through the membrane. Next is the cytoplasm. Everything from the cell membrane to the nucleus is part of the cytoplasm. If you want to think about it, it's more like this uh, jelly-like substance here between the structure. And it suspends those cell structures, those organelles. Next is the nucleus. This entire structure here is the nucleus. And its function here is it houses our DNA. It's essentially the control center for our cell. Now within here, you're seeing this hair-like structures here. This hair-like structure is called chromatin. A chromatin is our normal form of DNA. It's our form of DNA when the cell is not dividing. When the cell is ready to divide, we will package that chromatin into something you're more familiar with, and those are chromosomes. Next, uh, within the nucleus here, you see these two structures here, and these are called the nucleoli. Nucleoli is plural, a singular is nucleolus. And what the nucleoli do is they make ribosomes. And we'll talk about those pretty soon here. The boundary of the nucleus, and you can see this is a kind of a double membrane here. This is the nuclear envelope. Uh, so this is the boundary of the nucleus. And just like the cell membrane that regulates what enters and exits the cell, the nuclear envelope here regulates what enters and exits the nucleus. Next are ribosomes. These are ribosomes here, and also they're found down here. Ribosomes are actually little red dot structures, uh, and these guys, what they do is they make or synthesize proteins. Where we find ribosomes also in the cell is not just within the cytoplasm, we also find them on these structures here, and this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now it's called rough because it's studded with ribosomes. And what the rough endoplasmic reticulum does, it helps out with protein synthesis, but it's also going to package those proteins into vesicles. And a vesicle is a small membranous sac. Next is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. You can find the smooth endoplasmic reticulum here and here and here. And what the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does is it's going to make lipids, lipids such as fats and oils, uh, phospholipids are also in that group. And as you can see here, it also stores calcium ions in skeletal muscle fibers. Next is the Golgi apparatus. Here's the Golgi apparatus. <coughs> it also packages uh, proteins into vesicles, but it's going to modify those proteins. So ribosomes make the proteins. The rough endoplasmic reticulum packages them to vesicles. These vesicles then go to the Golgi apparatus. They are modified some way. Maybe we add a sugar group onto it or a lipid group. And now it's ready for us to get out of the cell. And that's what these are trying to show. These are secretory vesicles. So these vesicles here are going to fuse with the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. They're going to open up and release their contents out of the cell. And this is how we release tears out of our tear glands. So this is a secretory vesicle here. Next are the mitochondria. These are the mitochondria here. They kind of look like circus peanuts, that kind of candy. Uh, what the mitochondria do is they produce energy for the cell. So they produce ATP. So this is where aerobic respiration occurs. Next are lysosomes. These are lysosomes here. What lysosomes do is they contain digestive enzymes. And digestive enzymes can be used for, if it's a white blood cell, we use that lysosome to break down bacteria that's been phagocytized. We can also use those lysosomes to break down old organelles. So if this mitochondria is getting non-useful anymore, the lysosome will fuse to it, break it down, and we can reuse those parts. Next are the centrioles right here. These are the centrioles. Uh, the centrioles kind of look like licorice. Uh, what they do is they guide the movement of the chromosomes during mitosis. So those are the centrioles there. Lastly, here are these yellow structures here. Those are fat vacuoles. A fat vacuole, a vacuole is just a large vesicle, so a large membrane sac, and they house, well, fats. 